ladies, it's Fran Capo, the Guinness Book of World Records fastest talking female, and welcome to another cup of Capo. Now, so here's the deal. So a couple of days ago, my good friend John Bastow, who was nominated for three awards, says to me, hey Fran, why don't you come out to Vegas with me and be my guest at the IAWTV Award? But if you get if I'm gonna go out there, why not lend my fast talking talent to the show? So I call up, one thing leads to another, then they call back and they say, hey listen, how would you like to do the entire warm-up, the whole pre-show warm-up. I said, that's a lot of things. Now i got to coordinate stuff. So now I'm in a panic. i got to get my plane ticker and figure out what to wear. You want to just have a bag that you take, you can recognize. So you got to get all your stuff in there. What could you do? All right, let's see. I ideally would like to travel with something this size, but of course that's not going to work. Well, we can go with the traditional black, but everybody has black. It's definitely not going to fit into the overhead. Ah! This would be perfect to bring. Yeah, we can get a trunk. Oh, wait a minute. Not good. This is only good if you uh, work with the mob and uh, you have like a dead body. All right, this is, this is not mine. It's from another. Yes, this would be perfect. It's blue. It stands out. It'll fit in the overhead. And I think I'm done. What are you looking at? It was black. Maybe a little bit of that. That would be good. Oh, gosh. This one looks good. Oh, you know what? I don't have time. You know, you're in a rush, and a girl can never have too many things. I think I will just take all of them and decide there. You know, and really plan this thing much in advance. So I have my clothes that get there, and the girl's got to figure out what, you know, kind of pocketbook she needs. When you get there, I'll figure it out. A lot of different size pocketbooks, not too big, too small. And of course, you want to be able to read something on the plane. Got to keep your iPad and your Kindle, get that there. You know, John's tall, I'm short, I got to wear heels. For a guy, it's easy. What do you do? You pick up some suits, you got to pick up a couple of pairs of pants and a tie. Ooh, maybe not that one. You decide that you're going to go, so you have to book your airfare. So you get your assistant to do it. Oh, wait, I don't have an assistant, but I do have a teenage son. Spencer! He's not available. What if I need extra money? A couple of little spare change? And then you have to figure out what you're going to do with your hair and makeup. I'm not really sure because I don't know if they have the makeup person there. Of course, you want to smell good when you walk down the aisle. You know, oh, which one should I use? I'm not exactly sure. But you know what? Of course, you can never have too many socks. All right, I'll figure out a way to get this in. I'll figure it out later. Every single one of you, all you people out there in the audience had to go through the same thing. What are you going to pack? What are you going to wear? Now, since I'm doing the warm-up, I figure I better get out of the cold because I certainly don't want to wind up like that guy. Hanging and without a head. Well, that's it. I'm out of time. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. i got to get to the airport. You'll see what I decided to wear when I get to Vegas. i got to go.